Hi everybody, this is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit for April. First, I like to show all the papers and then I'll show you everything else that we received in the kit. I think that this first piece of pattern paper demonstrates just how gorgeous this collection is. I think that the flowers on this page are so beautifully drawn. They're very detailed. And then I love the color combination as well. I love the bright colors combined with the black. I definitely think I'll be fussy cutting out this side of the paper, although there's a pink side with some white dots. That's another great paper to use. We received two sheets of this paper, which is great because there are lots of cut aparts on this side. There are the two by two inch cut aparts and also the four by four inch squares. And I feel like you can use these to fussy cut images out of. You can just use them as is on your pages. I've seen a lot of pages where they use lots of two by two inch squares. And I think that's another great idea for making a page. On this side is this beautiful blue pattern with the white leaves. There's just something about this color. It just has so much vibrancy. So you have the opportunity here to use the cut apart and then also use this paper as well. Here's another paper that we received two of. These are the three by four inch cut aparts. My eye is really being drawn to these beautiful butterflies in different colors. And then there are some stamps with the butterflies down here. And there's just so much to use cut aparts for on your pages. On the other side is this gorgeous stripe. And this brings together all the beautiful colors of the collection. These are the four by six inch cut aparts. I love these butterflies. And I love the way there are a lot of images of film strips or film. Here's a camera. I love that banner. Just great things to use. Like I said, cut apart or used as a complete card. And then on the other side is a beautiful floral. Here we have cut aparts of all different sizes, again, with lots of butterflies, the film image, postcard, calendar. I like this top 10. That's a great idea. You could fussy cut this whole thing out and use it on a layout. And then on the other side, this beautiful floral with the black background with the dots of all the different colors of the collection. And here we have a whole sheet of tags. I love these Simple Stories tag sheets. When you cut the tags out, you have double-sided tags. So you can use the ones that have more images on them, or you can use the ones that have lines on them if you wanna do some journaling. So there's lots of options for this tag sheet. Here's another paper that I think shows how gorgeous this collection is. Look at these beautiful butterflies, lots of different sizes and all the different colors of the collection. And then on the other side are these typewriter keys and the whole sheet is blue with a darker blue in the typewriter keys and the lighter blue in the background. This sheet has a gorgeous wreath around the outside. I love the way this is nice and big, lots of room in the center to add things, add your photo and some embellishments. This could be just used as the pattern paper the way that it is, or you could fussy cut the wreath out. That would take a little bit of time, but just might be worth it. And then on the other side, another beautiful floral. Here we have a whole page of tickets, which could be cut apart or used as a background. And then on the other side is this black dot, again, with the dots being all the different colors of the collection. Here's another sheet with the typewriter keys. This one looks different though, because the keys are black and the background has lots of different colors. I could see some blues, some orange and some pink. 
on the other side, we have this vintage sheet. It has things like older calendars and postcards, some receipts. That would be another great page to use for a background. Isn't this fabulous? This is a pink page with lots of florals in opposite corners. And you can see that there is a circle here. I love the white butterflies. On the other side, we have these beautiful butterflies. They have black and white with some newsprint in some of them, and some of them are just plain without the type. Here's another page where we have some blue in the background and some florals. This time the florals are very petite. And then on the other side, we have this newsprint background with the film image and a camera down here with lots of flowers around it. And those are all the papers we got from the Life in Bloom collection. But because these kits are coordinated so well, we're also receiving some of the 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbet papers. This was one of my favorite collections, and I am thinking now about how these papers go so well with the Simple Stories collection. This is a great background with a loose pink circle and some type. And then on the other side is this lace, I guess it's a doily in the center, and then those same colors in the background that we find in the Life in Bloom collection. We also receive this gorgeous 49 and Market paper. It has all those beautiful colors with the touches of black, and this is a huge spray of butterflies. And then on the other side, this paper is a fantastic match with all those gorgeous colors, the blues, the greens, the oranges, and the pinks. And then this has some type in the background. Some of it is white, some of it is black. Another gorgeous paper to use with this month's kit. We also received the coordinating sticker sheet. There are lots and lots of stickers on this sheet. We get this border strip on the bottom, lots and lots of sentiments. Here are some stamps. Here is a film strip with some butterflies in it, and there's lots of butterflies scattered around the page. We also receive some tickets, a banner, there are some flowers and some little hearts. We also have some words that could be used as titles. Next, we have the chipboard stickers. I love chipboard elements. The Simple Stories chipboard is a nice thickness. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Just enough to add a little bit of dimension without making your pages super dimensional if that's something that you're concerned about. I love this pink flower. That's just gorgeous. Here is a title. I'm sure I'll be using this Life is Beautiful title on my pages. We have a camera, some butterflies. There are bees, banners, hearts, butterflies, sentiments, lots of stuff on this chipboard sticker pack. We also received the foam stickers. The foam stickers are something, I'm gonna say they're new because <laughs> I guess I've been scrapbooking for so long, they seem new to me, but they've probably been around for a little while. But I love the foam stickers. I love the way there are usually titles and I love the way they have lots of images the butterflies, and then it's double-sided. So then on the other side, we have even more titles, lots of butterflies in all the different colors, and then little embellishments, little sentiments, little hearts. Here we have a hashtag. So much to use, and I love the way these also have dimension. So I'm so glad that these foam stickers are included in the kit. We also received two packs of ephemera. I feel like this kit is never ending. There are so many embellishments that go along with all of those papers. We have the bits and pieces. This is the regular, I guess you could call it, ephemera pack. And then we have the floral bits. And I know that it shows everything that you get on the back of the package, but these packages and the images on them are rather small. And I always like to take out the ephemera pieces to show you exactly what's in them. 
this is everything that we get in the bits and pieces pack. There's 44 pieces here. There's such a nice variety. There are butterflies. You can see there are strips of butterflies. There are single butterflies. Here's a butterfly that's part of a cluster. There are lots of sentiments. Here are some sentiments that are on banners. These are a little bit larger than these sentiments. And these are in, look, all the different colors of the collection. It's so pretty. There are also some clusters. We have this cluster with the butterfly, the sentiment, and the florals in the background. Here is a floral cluster with some butterflies and a journaling spot. This camera with the butterfly on it. Another camera. This is a little tag. We also have this beautiful postcard cluster over here. They are some layered on top of each other, or that's how it looks. And then there's the butterfly with the sentiment so lovely. Here we have two strips of stamps. Here are some more sentiments. Here's the word dream. This could be used with a title or as the title. And then here are some larger titles. We have so pretty, beautiful day, life documented. And then we also have these little slides. So there's a lot in here and we're not done yet. There's another ephemera pack. I'll show you that next. Here we have everything that we received in the floral bits pack. And I just think this is really appealing, beautiful colors. I love working with florals and butterflies. And I think that leaves are really important to making a flower cluster come together. So I'm so glad that they include some leaves. Some are separate and some are part of the flower clusters. They also have lots of butterflies hearts and some bees as well. There are a lot of pieces that have a white border, which I really like. Sometimes I want a white border so that the pieces will stand out from whatever it is I place it on. And sometimes if you don't want the border, you can always just fussy cut it off. But I think it's always nice to have it in case you do need it. That's everything we got in the floral bits pack. And next I'm going to show you my favorite part of every My Creative Scrapbook kit. Finally, here are the beautiful packs of flowers that we received. This month we got three packs of Prima flowers. This one has pink and white flowers. I love the yellow centers on them. And I can see there are some leaves mixed in there. I love these blue flowers. There's lots of different shades of blue in here and the edges have some white sparkles on them. I just love that look. And then here we have another pack of flowers. This pack has flowers of all different sizes. And again, lots of different shades of pink. And I could see there are some leaves in the background of this pack as well. So that's everything that we received in this month's kit. What a gorgeous kit. I am really looking forward to getting started working on it. I will have images of all of the layouts that I made at the very end of the video in a few moments. I found that this collection, Life in Bloom. It's very, very popular. And I noticed that it's sold out with many of the vendors that I usually buy from. I think it's so nice that we get all of these elements, the papers, the chipboard stickers, the foam stickers, and two ephemera packs, plus of course the flowers all in one box and you could just open it up and start creating. I'm really looking forward to working with the kit. And at the very end of the video, in a few moments, you'll see images of all of the layouts that I created using this kit. I'm looking forward to getting started and I hope that you are too. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you again on my channel soon. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye-bye.